Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today it's Portsmouth versus Luton Town match day vlog. If you haven't already guys, make sure you go and watch my match day preview video. I uploaded that on Friday. I predicted the lineup and I predicted a 3-1 win at Fratton Park. A lot of people are surprised that I'm predicting a 3-1 win. I believe that we start a season strongly and I reckon we will today against Portsmouth. There's going to be over 2,000 Luton fans heading down today. I'm going by train even though there's going to be train strikes happening but I don't think I'm going to be affected. Hopefully it's going to be a positive result. I watched the Reading versus Derby game. That was so good. Last minute equaliser by Derby. 94th minute header. I wouldn't mind some of that today. Really wouldn't mind some of that. But anyway, let's go to Portsmouth. I've got an hour until my train. Let's go. Before I go, we don't have the best record against Portsmouth, especially at their place. So, fingers crossed we can actually pull off a result. <laughs>
Kelly. Target at least. Oh, what a save! Decent ball and Sheehan. Oh, red! Draw win! Come on, Lewis! Come on, So guys, I'm now back home from the game against Portsmouth. Now, if you're an honest guy about football, and you give honest opinions about that game, I think everyone would say that we deserved something out of that. The amount of chances which we had at goal, and we didn't take them, I felt we dominated the game quite well. I felt that Portsmouth couldn't do what they wanted to do, which is quite a surprise, because when you go down to Portsmouth, you, you expect a tough game, you expect them to to be the dominant team. In this case, it was the other way round, and we was quite dominant. I felt we should have got at least a point, in my opinion. Portsmouth's goal came from two mistakes. Sheehan slipping over, mistiming the jump, and then second was Pearson. He mistimed the like challenge. If he stayed on his feet, I reckon he would have been able to block the cross coming into the box. But then again, when that player did cross the box to the edge of the six yard area, there were about three or four players waiting to hit that ball. So so the goal was pretty much going to happen, to be fair. It was a nice finish and nothing the goalkeeper could have really done about it. But apart from that, we had a few good chances. Collins and Cornick should have scored their chances. And that, it's just disappointing coming away from a game where you dominated and not got the points. But like I said in my match day preview, if you don't take your chances, then... You obviously don't win football matches. For me, my man of the match was Elliot Lee. A lot of people said Paddy Rudd did perform well. He did. And he had a really good performance. So that is the end of the video, guys. But before I end this video, shout out to Daniel and shout out to Harrison for retweeting my advertisement tweet. If, if you guys want to shout out, make sure you retweet me advertising this video over on my Twitter. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts about the game against Paul Smith. Subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next video.